When you listen to Mexican singer Lila Downs, as with so much in the country, you're struck by the constant and even often cheery presence of death. It's poetic, I believe, but it's also about confronting, I think, the notion of death. So we have that contradiction and in the arts it expresses itself with melancholy and, and what we call sentimiento and with joy and celebration and a lot of drinking. <laughs> Her music celebrates her indigenous Miztec heritage. Downs was born to a Mexican mother from the state of Oaxaca and a white American anthropologist. She grew up in both America and Mexico. So Donald Trump's bid to be president and his repeated calls for a wall at the border in spite of a recent trip to Mexico is something Downs takes very personally. We will build a great wall along the southern border. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Um, it hurts because I consider myself a border person. And um, I think about my, <laughs> my goodness, I'm becoming emotional. Uh, I think about my Anglo father. And I think it would be very sad And, and I'm also very angry. <laughs> I've been working on music that tries to bring these worlds together. And, and here we have something that is, you know, con the contrary of what I have been working on all my life. Downs has also been vocal on issues within Mexico, like the disappearance of 43 student teachers two years ago during a protest. Corrupt local police and a drugs gang have been blamed, but relatives think the role of senior officials is being covered up. You think about ghosts, I think. You think about people who haven't had a chance to defend themselves. And it is the scariest form of terrorism, I think, that there is. Um, I, um, and in this case, of course, they were, they were kids. They were students, and, and this was... Um, something that, f for me personally, I had to write something about. How free do you feel as an artist, as, a, as an individual, as an activist, to talk? It's, it's getting scary. It really is. I have seen uh, female journalists in Mexico uh, disappeared and threatened as well because of uh, looking for the truth about disappeared people. And this is, it's, it's appalling the way that, that you can be treated in, in our country. I actually wrote a song dedicated to journalists who are in the line of fire. It's about smoke. We put smoke on the altar of the Day of the Dead. And our belief is that it's the way that the dead can find their way back home and spend the day with us. Estoy tan decepcionada, ay, es que no te creo más. Si ya me lo prometiste, yo quiero la verdad. Un mito, un mito, un mito de copal. Un mito, un mito, yo quiero la verdad. <laughs> 